Hello there, uh, I'm Shreena Ganapati, a faculty in the Electrical Engineering uh, and uh, director of the uh, Learning and Extraction of Acoustic Patterns, the LEAP Lab. So we founded the lab a couple of years ago with the uh, goal of trying to understand and analyze acoustic patterns. Uh, acoustic patterns refers to speech signals, audio signals and uh, patterns that can be either derived from these signals or that uh, are simulated by these kind of signals. So uh, understanding like acoustic signals and patterns in acoustic signals uh, propels uh, fundamental uh, science in signal processing, in machine learning, in uh, uh, electrical neuroscience, in, uh, in human behavioral science and psychology and a lot of other fields. So it's a very interdisciplinary uh, field that we try to focus here and try to advance uh, these uh, areas uh, in conjunction with analyzing acoustic patterns. We are uh, analyzing conversational speech uh, data sets uh, uh, so as to an analyze how humans uh, do different tasks while listening to conversational speech in day to day activity and how machines uh, uh, perform when they work with these data sets. We want to make a speech recognition system which is robust to noises, real time uh, noises that we face in our real uh, day to day life. So, uh, we know all these uh, speech recognition products that are already there in the market, like uh, Siri, Cortana, Ego, which uh, interact with humans and tries to do the conversation by understanding what humans are seeing and then replying at the same time. But we also know that these systems don't really work well in the presence of noises like. Let's say we are in a restaurant or we are sitting in a train, car, we are at a traffic signal or we get any kind of uh, with a noisy environment we face in our life. So, uh, so it's a problem of spoken language identification. But, uh, we are using technique files from signal processing to statistical modeling to deep learning. And the main, the main problem is uh, when the languages are dialects of the languages themselves. Like we have English, we have English, American, and contemporary Spanish, European Spanish. The problem really uh, becomes difficult there. The system will struggle when uh, there are dialects that are very close. And another uh, problem is when the speech output is very small, like one second, two second, three second. So each of us are trying to solve these problems separately. Uh, some of them do the work. And uh, yeah, we have some good results. And uh, yeah, we are going. And my project is uh, to do unsupervised acoustic modeling in zero resource settings. So in machine learning, we know that we can do unsupervised uh, learning or supervised learning. Basically, we see that in speech domain, we do a lot of uh, we have already experimented with a lot of supervised stuff where all lexical, gender information, uh, speaker information is incorporated in uh, ASR, uh, automatic speech recognition. Uh, but suddenly, as we see that uh, when there are many languages for which no such information is available, and uh, the interest is shifted to how robots acquire knowledge or how uh, the infants acquire knowledge. Uh, so, to understand that, uh, many uh, people have started with unsupervised speech recognition. The problem that I've been working on is called as speech recognition. Uh, the problem of speech recognition can be used by taking a simple example of a man speaking into a microphone. Uh, with the microphone. 
microphone So suppose the microphone is near to his mouth and as the person speaks, the energy that comes from out of his mouth is going to be filtered by uh, primarily from the from a direct path from his mouth. 